In Dale County, GW Long hosting St. Luke's in a 2A battle. Now this is the Rebels' fourth consecutive playoff appearance, and here we are in the very first drive for St. Luke's. Brandon Cooks hands off to Jaboris Busby. The ball falls out, and I don't really know who picked up that ball for GW Long. Nonetheless, it's a turnover, and they're in plus territory, and would they be able to make good of that? Hey, how about yes, because here is Bryson Hughes on the PA rollout looking for a throw, but instead he's got a whole bunch of green on the left side of the field, and he's going to be able to tuck himself into the corner right there, and they'll strike first. The Rebels take a 6-0 lead, and now St. Luke's back on the ball. It's Cooks moving out to his left. He's going to look for a man downfield. However, he's going to find Braden Whitehead of GW Long. Gets both feet in bounds, and that's another turnover for this Rebels defense, and that means the offense. Hey, you got to go back to work, and so they do. Hughes this time through the air, and he's going to have his man, Dalen Henderson, at the 10, and he's going to get on in for their second score of the first quarter. GW Long now leading as his friends celebrate by sliding on in. They're up 13-0, but here comes St. Luke's. Busby makes up for the fumble earlier, and he'll cross the plane for a touchdown. They'll cut it to that lead 13-7, but the Rebels they would not be outdone tonight at home. Here it is, Whitehead from close range. He'll get right up the gut, find a hole, and he is in. They take a 19-7 lead into the break. This one got close, but they came out with the win. 19-16, the Rebels are moving on. Well, now,